What's up guys? So I'm going to record a video on a topic I haven't really talked about but I've been into for the last few months and that's cryptocurrency. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use this uh, Avalanche and Spore bridge. I'm doing this for the people over in the Spore Discord so hopefully this will help them have a video uh, to help people use the bridge and then I will be able to post this on the YouTube channel to help anybody else out there. So the first thing that we're going to do um, is take a look. Spore is just the currency that um, allows reflections and there's a lot more you can find out about on their homepage which talks about what they who they are what they do on every avalanche transaction you're getting 4.6 percent burned and then you get uh, a little over one percent redistributed and then on every binance smart chain transaction six percent is burned uh, and here's your tokenomics so go take a look at all of this if you want to but this video is just going to focus on the bridge so at the bridge page, which is spore.earth slash bridge, I'm going to show you how to take it from Avalanche. First, we're going to connect our wallet. I'm going to use MetaMask. That's the one that I'm most familiar with. That's one I use all the time. And I've got a dedicated account for here. So we're going to use this YouTube account. And I'm going to hit Next. And then it's going to say, hey, you want to connect to the this account, YouTube. And here, view the addresses of your permitted accounts. So I'm going to hit Connect. And that's going to connect my MetaMask wallet up here to the Binance Smart Chain. So you can see I'm connected to the Smart Chain out of all these different networks. Um, this is how much BNB I have in this um, wallet. So that's what I'm going to use as the gas. And then I'm going to show you real quick what we first need to do is go over to... Uh, I use CoinGecko and I'm just going to go to Spore. And when we get to that... Oh, it didn't take... Here we go. I'm going to use this button to add the contract to my MetaMask. So Binance, you have this little add to MetaMask. I'm going to click that. It's going to come up here and say, hey, I want to add the suggested tokens. Do you want to import these? And I'm going to say, yes, add token. Now, I don't have any in this account, so it's going to show zero. Another thing that I can do is the same thing for Avalanche. So let's just go up here to our MetaMask, click on Avalanche Network, and we're going to do the same thing. It uh, looks like it does not appear to be supported, so maybe the Avalanche connection doesn't work. So I'm just going to copy that. We'll go up to MetaMask, and I'm going to import token, and then custom token. I'm just going to paste the contract address there. Okay, you can see auto-populate spore, token decimals, I'm going to click add. Okay, now I do have some spore in this account, so we'll just import that, um, and go back. Okay, so let's go to the bridge. So now you can see that this is my spore balance. Okay, I have 9,518,471. All right, what I want to do is I want to transfer some of this spore from Avalanche over to Binance Smart Chain. This is what this arrow is for. It shows you that you're going from here to Binance. All right, so let's just say I want to do, I won't do all of it, so it'll make it easy. So let's say I want to do, I don't know, heck, let's just do a million. Okay, so I'll do exactly a million. One, two, three. That's way too many zeros. One, two, three. Nope, I was right. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to click approve. Take note, these are the transfer fees, okay? 0.03 AVAX to transfer it over to Binance Smart Chain. So when I click approve, it's going to say, hey, you want to give permission to access your, sp your spore? And I'm going to say yes. It's going to cost me $1.63 to first give permission for them to, exp to spend it, okay? So I click confirm. All right, then if I look up in my MetaMask, hopefully it doesn't go too fast, you can see it's pending to approve. If I want to speed it up, I can click that. There it goes. It approved. You see my AVAX went down. If I go to Assets, okay, I have less AVAX and still the same amount of spore. So I'm like, well, what's going on? Why didn't transfer? Well, I just approved MetaMask to have access for this website. So now what I need to do is actually click on Transfer. That's going to allow it to transfer. That's where this transfer fee for the 0.03. So if this changes, just expect that that's what it's going to be. See, I have a pending transaction. Let's click on that. And then I'm going to have to pay $3.47, which is 0.03 AVAX. And I'm going to click Confirm. So there's my gas fee. So it's pending. Now this is going to take it from, and so let's watch this balance. There it goes. So this balance here was at 9518471. All right, let's take a look at the transaction, make sure it went through. You see my AVAX went down. If I go to assets, that's down. And look, right here, 
8518471. Okay, now this balance still stays the same, but you can see in my actual wallet that it has gone down. So if I just reconnect my wallet here, it'll change or maybe refresh the page. It'll update the balance. So now let's go back the other way. Let's connect it, MetaMask. Okay, there you can see the balance now, it updated. All right, so we transferred a million from Avalanche over to Binance Smart Chain. So we can see it subtracted from here. Let's switch over to Smart Chain. There it is. And look, I have 940,000 Spore. Now, how come I didn't get all of the uh, 1 million? Well, it's because if we go back to the main page and you look, token burn and redistribution. So that was an Avalanche transaction and it went 4.6 was burned and then redistributed to hold holders. So that's 6%. Uh, so you take 6% from the 1 million. So let me open up my handy dandy calculator. Come on. All right, so we do 1 million times, we'll do um, 0.06. Okay, that's 60,000. So if we take 1 million and we subtract 60,000, that's 940,000. So we can see that it pulled on that avalanche transaction 6%. All right, so let's go back to the bridge and do it the other way around. So let me connect the smart chain. So make sure it's on smart chain, okay? Click connect here, click MetaMask. Now you can see my balance is 940,000. All right, so let's transfer an easy 100,000 so that we can see the 6% because we're also going to have 6% that comes from this one that goes over back when you're going back over the Avalanche. And you can also swap some Spore for AVAX. There's a 10% thing for that. Um, and then here's your transfer fees going back the other way, 0 0.005 BNB. All right, so this time what I need to do, I've already approved my Spore to be uh, spent from this account. So all I should need to do this time, I can either click this arrow or click transfer. I always like to click transfer. Well, I got to put something in there for it to move. So this is 100,000. So if we take 6% of 100,000, let's just clear this out. All right, so we'll do times, if I just do 94%, it'll tell me what it's supposed to be since that's the 6%. All right, so... 94,000. That ain't right. Well, you guys need to check my math. 100,000. We'll just do it this way. Times 0.06. Okay. That's 6,000. It is right. Why do I question myself? All right. So we should have 94,000. Okay. When it goes back to the other side. So let's go ahead and transfer. We're going to get the MetaMask notification. Okay. It says, hey, it's going to cost you 23 cents. And we're going to confirm that. And let's see if we can get this pending to show. Okay, it's, you can see it's burning, all right? Pending, pending, pending. Usually, Binance is a little slower than AVAX, you could see, but um, depending on the transactions that are going on either network, you might have to wait a little bit longer for this to happen. It's happening pretty quick today, so that's good. So if I go to Assets, you can see it's taken away my 100,000 Spore. Now let's go over to Avalanche Network, and I don't remember exactly what it was. But if I want to, I could just uh, go look at my, let's just go look at the account details on Snowtrace and we'll see what happened. All right, so um, there's my AVAX amount. Let's go to ERC20 token transactions, 39 seconds ago. Here's the Spore Bridge. All right, 94,000. So there you go. You can see that 94,000 went from Binance Smart Chain over to Avalanche. So this is how to use the bridge. If you want to use Trust Wallet, they've got steps here. Um, hop into the Spore Discord, and I'll leave a link for that in the description so you can uh, go talk to them in there. But they are working on more developments in the roadmap. Uh, they had some NFTs in the past, so hopefully we'll get uh, some more in 2022 coming up here from the Spore cryptocurrency.